Hello YouTube, this is your Friday e video and we are going to do some troubleshooting today. Um, I had some issues on the last video when we were sawing that, um, uh, what were we sawing, that uh, big ugly pine log I did on uh, Monday's video. And I noticed that the bus motor was starving for fuel. So we had this problem last winter. It was a pretty easy fix, but we just got some fuel delivered. So I'm going to be adding the clear diesel and this fuel tank cleaner it removes water slime, all the algae type, type of stuff that really messes up fuel. And also we're getting into winter and it's time to put some anti-gel in and this also helps take moisture out. So let's take a walk over. I'm gonna grab a little camera stand here, um, sort of filming by myself here. And we do have a sawing video in here for you. It's uh, some bank stuff, I think, from them Hemlock 2x6s. Uh, we didn't get no extra sawing video in because we worked on the mill. So let me set you up in this little stand right here. And here's where the fuel line goes into the bus motor. Up pretty high here. There's the valve coming out of the tank. So... It's going through a water separator, which cleans the water out of it. And we just got a full delivery of fuel, so keep moving around here, but we have a lot of fuel in the tank. So we're going to add the additive to it, but first thing we're going to do is I'm going to pull this line off of here. And I hope I got you in the shot. It's all about the shot. So let me pull this line off. And if you can see how low we are in reference, I'm going to open the valve full open now. <laughs> do you see a problem? I see a problem. What we had to do last year, and we're going to do it again this year, I had to get an air compressor and we blew some air back through the line. I'm just hooking this line so up, don't fall off. And we're just going to Gently blow some air through there, and I, I think what we have is we have nothing more than just a, a glob of something there. So let's go and put the foot, they'll put the conditioner in the tank first, and I'll see you here in a minute. Uh, I'm going to blow some air through there, and we'll see if the flow increases. So let's try that first. All right, we're back here, and that's one of them deals where don't try this at home. So I put some electrical tape around the end of that uh, thing. Gonna get the hose down here a little bit lower and we're gonna put a rag around it. Get it down low to the bucket here and just give it a little you can hear gargling good. And just like a miracle, I'm going to let a couple gallon go out of here. But there it is. I think that problem has been solved. We had this problem last year. I think the bus motor is going to like that. So, But yeah, we'll put this all back together, get our blood out, and... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and fire the bus motor up here in a minute. So I'll catch you guys here in a minute. Up here. So let's see if Mr. Bus Motor's gonna wake up. That's a good sign. Yeah. It's gonna take it a minute to prime back up. But I think we're... That well, sounds like he primed up. So... Give it a minute to get the air out of the system here. Let's go see what it... Uh, see what it sounds like here.
Sounds a little bit better. No air bubbles. These filters will probably get pretty low. So we'll give her five minutes to idle up and uh, show you what else I got going on here. Alright, it's been about five minutes. It sounds really good and uh, nice and smooth idle now. It's not starting for fuel. Very responsive now. All right, that takes care of that problem. Other thing we're gonna be working on, um, I got a few things I'm gonna put in some videos for you. I know you guys like when we're doing stuff around the mill. Uh, we're gonna turn this pellet here into another one of these uh, slab wood boxes. And this is some leftover stuff from our last video. And I think between these couple boards here and this board here, I think we'll be able to build one more stacker box uh, and we'll just walk around back here show you a few other things going on here uh, this is some hemlock we like to keep the hemlock separate from the pine because it actually um, burns a lot better than the actual white pine does and if anybody watches nuts 319 he has brought us some chestnut logs he said they're very rare to find um, it's kind, of, it's kind of in the oak family, I believe. The, these things blighted out back in the um, early 1900s to a blight. And he said, honest to God, they only get about a chest height. So somewhere around in this neighborhood, he said, they get about chest height and, and about a foot diameter. That's about as big as you're going to find them. So he brought us three pieces of that. And anybody that does uh, wood turning, he has a couple pieces of maple. He thinks it's going to be ambrosia maple that got attacked by that, uh, I, I guess that beetle or something gets in there and it makes it into the ambrosia, which is a real pretty maple. So that's some up upcoming videos of sawing for you. And um, the sawdust bin has now been emptied out. And uh, I'm going to load up some more slab wood because it is, right now it's, it's, it's barely 40 degrees out and it's just a little bit on the chilly side. But I do have you some bank video like I said before and you'll get some sawing out of it. And oh yeah, there is what we did. I don't think I shot this before. This was actually a finished look of it. And uh, it turned out really, really nice. So now that, that is going to shade the sun from burning my eyes. <laughs> so, all right, everybody, enough of this nonsense. Uh, I'm glad you came along, and uh, we'll have some stuff coming up to show you how we build them, uh, them, them uh, slab wood boxes. And I also got to sharpen a saw blade. I will do a video on that, I promise. A lot of people are new to the channel. Uh, welcome aboard, and there's a lot of people been here since day one, and, and welcome back. Thanks for coming back and checking us out. So, uh, a lot of stuff coming up. Winter time's coming up, and uh, we're going to go as long as we can until the weather shuts us down. So enjoy the video, and I will catch you on the next one. All right, and bye-bye. Hello, everybody. We're going to make you a random sawing video. And we're cutting a, not a big order, but a decent sized order, two by fours and two by sixes out of hemlock. So we figure we'll just film a bunch of videos since you guys like watching them. So we're going to cut two by sixes here, open up the knees a little more. And you know what I like, my favorite eight foot logs, because they barely make it onto the darn carriage where I can handle them right, but we'll be alright. Oh, that'll work. Let's get the dogs up, dogs out. Put the master dog down. He's trying to roll on me a little bit. Alright, nice one.
want something I can get enough face to edge one out of. So we're going to take it down to, we're going to parallel this cant down to 12 and a quarter. And we're going to stack and whack. Six out of there. We found a new use for our thin boards. We're using them for our firewood pile covers. Um, okay, this go down to 12 and a quarter. There is not going to go to waste, it's going to become a roof. Let Eddie get that out of the way. And we're going to lay this down, start pulling off some two bys, and we're going to stack and mark them. Take a skimmage 
off of there. That's better. In fact, I'm going to take some sheeting off. I think we're good on our 2x6s, so... down to four and a quarter. Then we're gonna split that again. Stack them and whack them. Thank you, Eddie. Yeah, the eight foot logs just don't sit right on this. And these, these were like eight foot one. Eight foot four is better. Let's get out of six inches. trying to get back in the swing of things. Um, my eyes are doing a lot better. Still blurry, but that's to be expected. Pretty invasive surgery. <clears throat> but so far it's all turning out good. Easy had to go early today, so Bob's stepping in on the swing saw for the first time. And, um, all right. Ah, great, six inches again. trouble seeing it now, but it's working out. I don't know if we're done. Yeah, I think we are done stacking the wagon. We're going to edge all the other stuff on the edger. We had that discussion earlier. We were edging them all in here, and I said, why? We got that brand new cooks, which is very accurate, so. All right, let's bring one more victim up for you. It's got a little crook, crook in it. So, I don't know if this log is going to get down to eight and a quarter. So what I'm trying to do is get rid of the crook, and there it is, there it is right there, so. Take it out to Mr. Laser here. It's going to be close, I'll tell you that. But Buzzy get 
that out of the way. Alright, we're gonna take a piece of sheeting off and we're gonna see if we're gonna get eight and a quarter. that back to the knees.
smell right now. We're burning the hemlock bark. It's got a little, little pungent odor going on here. All right, full set, two inches. all the way in and I pump them out just a little bit. You don't want to cut a dog off. Alright, let's get on to four inches. Split piece and call this video a wrap. That looks like four inches to me. up a little bit. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed this little random sawing video. Thanks for coming along and I'm going to try to keep your videos coming as much as possible here as I heal up here. So hey thanks again. Do me a favor, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and share it with a friend so they can maybe check his channel out. Maybe like it and subscribe. So I'll check you out on the next one. Bye-bye.